Welcome to part 2 of the GCC Credit Student Application. If you do not have an OpenCCC account, please watch the previous video titled Part 1 for a step-by-step -step guide on how to create an account. If you do have an OpenCCC account, keep watching this video for a step-by-step -step guide on how to complete the application. Please click on Sign In to get started. Now enter your OpenCCC username followed by the password, then click sign in. Now you can click on start a new application. You are now viewing the GCC credit application. You should see all the pages displayed on the left hand side and you can notice that the first page has a yellow circle. You will need to go through each page and make sure all the required fields are completed. Once you successfully complete each page, you should see a green check mark next to each one, like this. You can also save your application in case you want to come back to it later by clicking Save. You can now click on the drop down menus and select the term you're applying for, your educational goal and your intended major or program of study. Next, click on continue to move on to the next page. Review your OpenCCC account information. Make sure that the information displayed here is correct. If anything is incorrect and needs to be changed, click on edit account. Next, if your current mailing address is the same as the permanent address listed above, click this box. If your current mailing address is outside of the US, click here. And if your address is different than what's listed above, write your correct address below. Next, click on Continue. By clicking the drop down menus, first select your college enrollment status, then your high school education level, and enter your high school completion date with the month, day, and year. Next, answer these two questions. If you attended high school or were homeschooled, click the correct box and enter the country, the state, and the name of your school. If the name of your school doesn't pop up in the list, you can click My School Is Not Listed. Next, enter your high school transcript info. Start with your unweighted GPA, then the highest English course you completed and the grade you received, then the highest math course you completed and the grade you received. Next, click on Continue. Next, select your citizenship and immigration status and complete any required fields. Next, select your U.S. military status and complete any required fields. Then click on Continue. Next, complete your residency information. Answer this question about your California residency. If any of these out-of-state activities are applicable, select the appropriate box or boxes. Next, answer these two questions about any special residency. Then click on Continue. Now you will see a page titled Needs and Interests. First answer the question about reading and writing in English. Then answer the next two questions about financial assistance. Next select the option that best represents your athletic interests. Now you will see a list of programs and services. Check the programs and services in which you are interested. Then click on Continue. Now you will see a page titled Demographic Information. The part about gender and sexual orientation is completely optional and you may complete it if you wish. Next enter the education levels of your parents or guardians. Next answer the question about race and ethnicity. And check all the boxes that apply. 
then click on continue. Now you will need to answer a few supplemental questions. If you have previously attended GCC or the Garfield campus, please enter your ID number here. Next enter when your permanent stay in California began. Then answer the question about additional background information if needed. Finally select whether or not you would like the college to release your directory information. Then click on continue. Click on review my application and make sure all the information you have entered is correct. If everything is correct, click on hide my application. Review the consent statement and click on I consent or I do not consent. Next, read the submit your application box. Once you read it, check the appropriate boxes. Then you can click on submit my application. Congratulations, your application is completed. You will receive a student ID number in your email within two hours. If you have any questions, please contact the Virtual Welcome Center via Zoom or phone. The contact information can be found in the description below.